Hey guys, it's Sue here and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing the best of Cleo. I decided to take the worst out because, you know guys, to be honest, every time I did the worst part, it made me feel really guilty because even though they might not have been the product for me, at the end of the day, someone did really work their butt off for it and someone really did take the effort to make the product. So I decided to exclude the worst part from the video. If you're really interested in what I have to say about the worst part, or what products didn't work for me, I will leave them in the info box below so you can read about it. But as far as the video goes, I won't be including the worst parts. I'm sorry guys, but it just felt really bad and I don't feel comfortable filming it. And I think that's one of the most important things. So for today's video, I'm going to talk about some of my favorite products from Clio. And without further ado, let's get this video started. The first product is without a doubt this Clio Kill Cover Consolidation. And I have mentioned this in a couple of times in my videos. As a matter of fact, all of the products that you're going to see today you have seen them in one of my videos one way or another but the first one is this foundation right here this foundation is full 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 coverage it is pretty matte but what I love about it is that it's not as cakey as you expect so for example compared to the Panilla Co Cover 10 foundation or maybe the Etude has double lasting this isn't as nearly as thick in my opinion it does seem to go pretty thinly compared to how much coverage it seems to give in addition to that the longevity is pretty amazing on my skin it doesn't get yucky or melt down weirdly or anything like that it just seems to gradually fade away on my skin but I do want to mention that my version or this product that I have is kind of like a bad one because as you can see it is leaking everywhere I am not kidding this product just seems to escape the bottle or something so a subscriber did mention to me that I might have gotten a bad one it is what it is but what's more important is the product that's inside right the next product is this Cleo's kill cover conceal cushion number no. three linen and I've also mentioned this in one of my videos before as a matter of fact I dedicated a whole video comparing the all the kill cover series of Cleo so if you're interested go check that out but like I mentioned in the video this one has to be my favorite now all the three types of different Cleo kill cover cushion they showed really good coverage but this one is the one that suited my skin the most and worked the best because not only did it give me good coverage but it also gave me an amazing longevity it just stayed there it didn't get messy and just stayed put and another thing that I love about this cushion is that it doesn't transfer as easily the other kill cover cushions I noticed that if I kind of place my fingers on them they would transfer on my fingers and elsewhere but this one this one stays pretty well put which I do appreciate this has like the foundation kind of like a semi matte matte finish so if you have anything oily skin or you live somewhere really humid I definitely recommend this one to check out the next two products are also from the kill cover series and it is the kill cover airy fit concealer now I've mentioned these plenty in my get ready with me's or my makeup videos and like I explained back then I love these concealers because the applicator is so thin Thin. So I feel like one of the problems that you might have with concealers Sometimes you get too much of the concealers Especially for example if you're trying to have to cover up the dark circles And you end up putting way too much Then it really just ends up looking messy as opposed to being refined But with these applicators you can really control the amount And also the location or the place that you want to place the concealers on They also have pretty high coverage as well And because you only get to use a small amount of time It doesn't end up being as cakey Alright the next products I'm actually very excited about till this day because I really really like them and these are the Clear Prism Air Shadows and I do believe these are a bit pricey they cost around 14,000 won per each eyeshadow and that's expensive I know guys that's pretty expensive so I bought four colors that I think are worth those 14,000 won but nonetheless I still recommend buying them on while they're on sale because you know it's nice to save a couple of bucks here and there first one is called Tender Light and I've also made mentioned this plenty of times on my channel this is more like a highlighting color look at that look at that damn and I love applying this in my inner corners and on my ego side because it doesn't have very big glittery pigments because of that it just gives you a very natural luxurious very kogukjin look and the reason why these prism air shadows are so expensive is because their quality is actually pretty darn good so they have very small fallout they give really good pigment or pigmentation and they really stick on to the skin like the Bill Changnyeok is really really good the next color that I want to recommend is called number 14 pink shell and this is already so popular and this is basically a coral 
pinkish color that just looks amazing in the spring and it's actually what I put on right now. It's nothing too intimidating but yet it still gives you an absolutely beautiful color so I also recommend this one as well. The next color I want to recommend is number 15 Deep Brandy and it is this deep burgundy color and this looks amazing on your outer thirds when you just want to give a little bit more depth. So whenever I use pink shell but I still want to kind of spice it up and make it a little bit more sultry, Deep Brandy is what I will use to give that extraness. Last but definitely not least is the shade called 16 coral and this is actually the prismaric shadow sparkling so this eyeshadow is glitter but what it has is kind of like an apricot coralish beige ish kind of undertone so it's not too bright and what I love to do is apply this at the center to just make my eyes really pop and I think this looks amazing one of my favorite colors to use along with the pink shell I think all of them together look amazing one thing that I would like to mention with these prism shadows is that they do work better using your fingers so whenever I use them with the exception of deep brandy I always use my fingers when using these eyeshadows with the color deep brandy I feel like this shadow is deep and dark and pigmented enough that I don't really have to use my finger to get the full pigmentation I just use a small pencil brush to really get in there and it just seems to do the job for me but as for the other shadows I definitely definitely recommend using your fingers the next products are these matte matte lipsticks by Clio now I know Clio has come up with a lot of lot of lip products ever since then but to this day these remain one of my favorite lip products from Clio first of all I think the color range is really really nice. I feel like Clio does an amazing job of coming up with beautiful beautiful shades and the formula is pretty exquisite as well. These are matte but they don't really dry out. They just sit very tight and nicely onto your lip. They give you a very velvety finish. The only problem that I seem to have with them is that they seem to create a weird film over the lipsticks as you use them so it will feel really weird and stiff so you gotta rub it out first on your hands or on a tissue and take that weird film off and then you can use it. What I'm guessing is that these lipsticks basically just dry out because they are matte matte lipsticks. So that is kind of annoying. I have to always rub it on my hand before I can apply it. But I still love the formula and the colors of these shades that they're still on the best list. And these three are my favorite colors. First we have number three Red Supreme and this is just a pink red. It's actually perfect for red right now for summer because it's not only a striking red but it's also a pretty light red as, as opposed to like a vampy red so I feel like this color would be just perfect for now. The next color is oh my gosh guys this is number seven bear it all and I swear this is like the best base color for your lips. It's amazing. As you can see this is kind of a toned down pinkish apricotish coralish color right? I don't use this on its own but I use it to layer with other colors and this just gives you the best gradation look ever. I absolutely recommend this color. I just think it's amazing. This color with any other kind of springish bright color looks amazing. The last color I have here is called Perky Rose and it's just right my cup of tea. I did two swatches so that you can see better. It's just an amazing bright rose mauveish color and this is just actually also really great to use right now especially more for the springtime. I think the matte matte lip line in general compared to all the Clio lip lines they have the best color arrangement or at least for me so Definitely check these out. The last products that I want to really show you guys are these Ruse Hill Velvet. I think these are the latest lip product releases by Clio and I honestly like them more than the Ruse Hill. So let me just show you guys. The Ruse Hill Velvet, they're very matte. They give you a velvety finish. So they're very, very light. And once you put them on, it literally feels like you really didn't put anything on but in a very good way. So I actually prefer these way over the Ruse Hill just because they're very very comfortable to wear. And here are some of my favorite colors. This is number three. This is Muse City and this is actually Crystal's pick meaning that she wore it for the ad. This is a very bright red as well but it has less of a pinkishness compared to the matte matte red supreme. It's still pretty a bright 
red color, I guess. And it also has a little bit of neon, meaning that it's pretty bright, right? Another color that I love from this collection is number four. This is called the Opening Teaser. And this is more of a red orangish color. So you can definitely see that compared to number three, it does have a little bit of orange or coralness to it. So this is another amazing color to wear during the summer, especially, you know, during the festivals. I know it's like the festival season right now. I myself will be going to UMF this year. So if you're there, say hi. Last color I have is number five. This is Pink Me Up. You guys know I love my pinks. So this color has a lot of pink tone to it. It's this color right here. If it's more pink and bright pink. Now one thing you do have to bear in mind with these lipsticks is is that because of how it is, you really have to make sure to put in the lipstick all the way till the end before you put the cap on or else it's going to get mushed like mine did here. So I feel like these colors that I showed you specifically are just great to party in. So that was it for this video. Like I said guys, if you want to know my worst picks for Clio or products that didn't work for me, make sure to check down the description box below. Oh, and before we finish this video off, please let me know what other brands you would like to see. It's been a while since I I filmed these videos so definitely let me know what you want to see next in the comments down below I hope you guys enjoyed please like subscribe and follow me on Instagram so we can hang out more and I'll see you guys in my next video bye